My name is Catherine and I am going to show you how to make um, these fun time balls using the fun time templates. This is a 10 inch ball and this is a 6 inch ball and these are really cool because they're kids safe, they bounce, um, the balloons don't pop when you play with them. You can also use them the different sizes to create decorations um, or just have them for the little people in your life. So anyway, um, we will start making our fun time ball. The fun time ball set comes with the acrylic pieces you need to cut your pattern pieces and two balloons to blow up the balls. And all you need to do is add a third of a yard of fabric for the large ball and a quarter of a yard of fabric for the smaller ball. So we're going to fan fold our fabric and cut out our pieces. Once you've fan folded your fabric, you need to lay your side section on the part where you fan folded it so you have six layers. Then the reserve section you have sticking out here, you're going to use for your end template. And you'll need a total of three of these to sew. So we'll go ahead and just lay them here and cut them out. And we'll set one of the pieces aside because when we cut it this way, we'll have four. Cut out all six pieces at once. And then just set them aside. And then we'll cut our sections for our hexagon pieces. Another set over here. All right, and like I said, you only need three of these, so we're just going to set one of them aside. We need to use the holes on our template to make marks for where our seams will meet on the hexagon. All right, and then there's also marking on the larger template for where you'll sew to. And I actually only mark every other one because you can put a blank one in between and it saves a little bit of time. All right, so we're gonna sew the section that our balloon is gonna go through. So we're gonna sew until we get to our line and then we wanna reverse it a little bit so it holds steady. And then we're going to cut. And then we'll do the same thing here and sew down our line to the point and cut. is the trickiest part, which isn't really tricky at all. You press it flat, and then we're gonna open it. 
So the right sides are exposed and we've created an opening for our balloon to go through. And then we're going to set that aside until we make our sides. Alright, so I'm going to start sewing at the mark that we made using our template. And I'm going to use just slightly more than a quarter of an inch for my seam allowance. And I'm going to sew all six sides together the same way. I'm just going to follow the curve and then stop at my next marking line. And I'll do this six times until I have a complete ball. So, so I've sewn the six pieces together and now I'm joining my first piece to my last piece. Until I have completed all the sides of the ball. I'm stopping at my quarter inch mark. Uh, our two hexagon pieces. One has the opening for the balloon and the other one is just plain. We're going to put the plain one on first and what we'll do is we will pin it to one of the sides and we'll sew from our marking to our other marking. So we're going to be sewing from one marking spot to the other and then pinning the next side. So. I'll do that for all six sides, pinching it together, pin, and sew. So stop there. Before I sew this section in, I'm going to baste around the top section of the ball just so it's easier to handle and you don't have those pieces flopping as you're trying to sew the sections in. So I'm just sewing just close to the edge just to hold it in place as I insert it into the ball. So just like on the bottom section, we are going to put the two-part section together in the top and we're just going to pin it and do from point to point like we did with the bottom. So we'll start here and sew. completed ball. This is still inside out so we'll turn it right side out through the little tiny hole we've made and it takes a little finagling but it comes out like this. So you just keep pulling until it is turned completely right side out. And our ball completely right side out. And there's the bottom, and then here is our top opening. So we just slide a balloon down in the hole and blow it up. And then I like to tuck the um, end in, but what you have is a ball that's safe to bounce. The balloon will not pop, so it's safe for small children to play with. And it's good for indoor play because it, since it's light and um, it can knock into stuff, but it doesn't damage anything. And one of the best things about these is, um, especially if you're using like the small ones for Christmas decorations, you can pop the balloon. Well, let's do it this way. You can pop the balloon and remove it and fold them up and you can put them in a diaper bag or store them away until next year.
Thank you for watching our video on how to use the Fun Time Fabric Balloon Ball template set. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Please like and subscribe. This video was filmed on location at the Elkin Sewing Center. If you will check our bio, we have some links to our store website and our store Facebook page. So, thank you.